Welcome back everyone to another episode of XCOM 2, the uh, War of the Chosen, saving your disaster campaign. My name is Saiken and this is the Meat Grinder campaign. We are looking at another mission right away. This is the Saving Your Disaster campaign where the uh, user that has shared it with me unfortunately lost 104 operatives and it's now our job to kind of make it whole. In the first three missions we were on a good uh, trajectory but it's far from being over. Um, so let's take a look. We definitely need to reduce the Avatar, uh, Avatar project to ensure that we're not going to lose the entire campaign. I don't want to take an initiate with me. Double check that real quick. Well, he should be on his training. Not even sure why he would qualify to go there. Let's put together a team. I think we do have generally what it takes to infiltrate the facility. Um, just a short look. We're looking at 11 uh, enemies. Uh, the warlock is definitely going to be there. Officer, shield bearer, uh, trooper, sector pod, so we and heavy mech, so and the codex, so we definitely gotta take blue screen rounds with us. Let me put a team together and then we're kicking it off. Alright, this looks like a pretty decent team. We're going in uh, with the exact same team as we did last time. Uh, the only exception is that Snake Eyes here is gonna be a bit tired. By the way, I just noticed everyone who had been promoted to a sergeant now finally has a call sign. So our sniper's call aftermath. Um, Snake Eyes is going to be our uh, ranger uh, slash assault and All In, which is a really nice uh, nickname, is going to be our uh, Grenadier. So 12 enemies, sector pot, and all we need to do is destroy the facility. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, let's get back into the game. Right here we are. On a different subject, while well, Brett Ford is explaining us how to plant the C4, I was trying to experiment a tiny bit um, with noise cancellation, so filters in OBS, the recording software. Unfortunately, it turns out that that's um, also are going to reduce my voice from time to time. There are outages which I really didn't like at all. So if you um, hear a mouse click from time to time, that's kind of the downside of not using a filter. If anyone has a really good idea of how to solve that problem, I'm all ears. Roger that. Potentially a more professional microphone uh, would automatically solve that issue. Good. Back into the mission, we find a pack of a Mac and a normal trooper. Really, absolutely nothing to be concerned about. I am considering to take the high ground over there as a second position. Fortunately, we don't have a wrath suit yet, as well as we could grapple. You know what? Copy that. I'm going to do that. It's highly beneficial having more than uh, one position so that you can take firing angles. Moving to designated coordinates. I'm on it. Eyes on the prize. Yeah, and that is pretty straightforward. If we would be detected, everyone is going to take their shots and we're going to be fine. Got it covered. I'm fully expecting to fight against the Chosen again. This time the Warlock. 12 enemies for an entire facility sound like a little bit of a light, uh, uh, of a light defense. I'm expecting more resistance than that. Well said, I couldn't have phrased it better myself. A worthless Advent Patrol. Ok, 
Good. All in. He needs to move to the entrance. Sniper repositions. Our other sniper finally takes point. I like the idea of on my way. Getting someone in full cover down there. And to be honest, uh, we're also putting our assault just to the front line. That is where he belongs. And everyone else is currently overwatching. Not that I'm expecting that we're going to trigger something, but you never know. Maybe they're coming back um, and we'll spot out the mag. They are not. Okay. Okay, so time to sort of open this up. I like the idea of single pulling this pack. Hard target, minimal damage. They spotted us. Fair enough. They took cover over there and 1-1 one, one in XCOM. If you see enemies taking cover, what you want to do is make sure that you deny them exactly that cover. So all in is gonna move a bit closer. And thanks to our plasma grenades, there's absolutely no problem with uh, removing that. The explosion is, uh, will, will notify the other aliens of our presence, so they will naturally come and investigate, which is exactly what we want them to do. Didn't want to move the sniper, and that was the only um, shot that he had. Uh, Even a bit over here without triggering the other patrol. I said without triggering the other patrol. Well, just got a tiny bit more intense. We um, do have a mimic beacon here, so that'll be our fallback position. Let's start with overdrive. Gotta pull some uh, of our cooldowns now. That's one hit. Nice. And we want to make sure that the Mac is properly stripped, but hitting it with a normal shot is only a 50-50, so I opt for the rocket launcher here. Let's see if we can also remove the cover. Seems that that is not the case. I'll take the hit nonetheless. There we go, properly shredded. We're going to hand over teamwork for the potential mimic beacon, finishing the advent. Very nice. Moving into full cover, which I didn't want to take before because I didn't want to trigger the patrol. Fortunately, that didn't work out as expected. Yeah, 
And we now have the choice whether or not we want to take some damage or quote unquote waste the mimic beacon. I'll go for the beacon because we do have plenty and we might end up with a need for holy shit. Ah, oh, that makes things much, much more difficult. Must surely be the modified subject Dr. Valen had been experimenting on. Okay, slight change of plans, guys. Just a minor change of plans. Wasn't aware that he still had. the um, alien rulers left over. Oh, that's a bummer. Gotta get rid of its armor first before anything happens. Keep in mind, for those who are unfamiliar with the alien rulers, any turn, even movement that we're taking, is going to result in a reaction. So we gotta be very careful here. Um, couldn't think of a better reason to use that. So we're shredded him down to one. Ruler's reaction. It's a shot. We put our soldiers through a lot. They'll need time to deal with these issues when we get back. Well. Unfortunately, my friend, we don't have that time, and to be honest, I'm not sure if the spark here uh, will survive that encounter. We pull it back, the alien ruler gets uh, another turn. We don't have the self-healing yet. And moving also triggers. That's the problem. Do we have a repeater on any of our weapons? Yeah, superior repeater here. Alright. That'll be our next shot once he's in range. So, we are in full cover with everyone else, meaning this here is probably not the worst move overall. He will get a turn, but we need to get the ruler closer anyways. Okay, fair enough. I want to play a game. I want to play rough, buddy. Ah, oh, shit. We are not in a good position. <laughs> okay. Really, really bad odds. Um, now nah, we... I don't want to move in. Full cover is pretty solid here. I don't think that he will continue with his barrage. Um, he still has one armor, but at some point we gotta start shooting him. Well, that's a problem. That is a huge problem. That guy takes a healing, probably go, uh, is going to take equal amounts of damage in a second. Interestingly enough, the healing didn't trigger. Not sure if he will go for the Mimic Beacon. Never tried it, to be honest.
I'm curious to see if it works out. The Mega Pekin definitely didn't trigger because we are not in range of him. Um, so we're taking an Overwatch here. Taking another Overwatch. All of those are not triggering. And let's hope that he moves in. He'll probably take a shot. But there is a chance that he is going to move in, which he completely ignores. Anyways, let's move Snake Eyes out of the thick of the battle. The alien ruler definitely is still there, and thanks to battle scanners. Should be able to target him. Alright, they changed that between vanilla and now. Uh, in vanilla, if you had battle scan something, we were very much capable of um, targeting it. Come get some. Good. We're planting a nice little overwatch trap here, I would say. Not the easiest encounter. I am ever vigilant. Let's see if he starts to move into our direction. Um, they even got uh, lightning reflexes, that's unfortunate. Wasn't aware that the dark event was going on. Taking heavy fire. Continuing to harass. Fortunately, it didn't work out so far. to waste teamwork just to get a couple of shots on that lonely straggler there. Take away his cover. There we go. Scanning. It's killing time. And that might be a kill. Very nice. Good job. Happy now. Well, I am pretty happy, except that there is a massive alien ruler defending the facility. And oh, yeah. I was taken by surprise. I wasn't expecting the alien ruler. Fired with the warlock. The alien ruler still stands at the very same spot. All right, let's get into position. Probably gotta 
use someone as, as bait. Okay, everyone's reloaded. Got our cooldowns back. Problem with taking uh, with using someone as bait is that someone is probably getting hurt a lot. Probably, I'm not sure if we can uh, send the spark in again. It's one more shot and it's down. I should have done beforehand, uh, but luckily everything that happens outside of his range is not triggering, and everyone else that's just barely outside of his range, so I should have given the 8 protocol beforehand to essentially make it full cover. So next thing that we need to do is, gotta get rid of his remaining armor. Unfortunately, ah, that's not far enough. <laughs> so bad. I'm wondering why he isn't engaging. He's in such a superior position. Missed shots do not trigger a reaction. Fair enough, I'll take it. Yeah, gotta get out of there very, very soon. You know what I could do is, it's a bit cheesy, but I think we're going to hunker down. Yeah, we got overwatches, he's not approaching, and we probably Gotta get away for now. Taking too much heat. Here I come. Okay. Well, gotta wait for cooldowns again. Not the best way of dealing with him. Ready to go. Reloading everyone. That is unfortunate. With the Reaper, uh, with the Reaper, uh, this would be so much easier. Or a Phantom Ranger. all the way up here full cover plus we would be move up to here the car however could explode it's a bit of a bummer wish we could have used the death from above go behind the car I think that's a 
cle uh, clever move. Um, this uh, here is full cover and there's another full cover field, so uh, theoretically we shouldn't be able to even see the alien ruler. Also, just for the sake of security, let's put a theoretical evac there. Will do. Just in case we're getting hit again, because we don't have any healing left over. On Overwatch. Moving down. And I don't want to lose any soldier. On, I'll monitor that area. on the other hand, we also can't really lose this mission here. It's a bit of a bummer. Okay, gotta do another round of overwatch because we need to wait for a protocol to come back. for a protocol to go on to all in. How long is the cooldown for the Sky Ranger? I think it was five turns. Of the chosen, though. Can't use the grenade, the ruler. Can't use the grenade because I theoretically need to have another round to move back and uh, evac. We gotta deal 33% of health damage to it. That way it'll start fleeing. Won't make the next uh, missions any easier. Still will be a pain to deal with him. But at least we're going to win this mission. Now we're with 40% hit chances, we're not really in a great spot, to be honest. Shot failed to connect. Alright, I'm not hunkering down. I am overwatching and that's about it. He gets one ruler reaction. Fortunately, we don't have um, an option to fire back. And we also don't have salvo. I'm pinned down here. Okay, so far the strategy somewhat works. It'll be a problem as soon as we are no longer able to um, to evade the hits. The first hit that we're going to take um, will mean that we're required to take a different point person. Okay, let's do another round of overwatches. I want to get the, uh, the cooldown on the Sky Ranger back because then I'm planting the Sky Ranger there. There we go. Interestingly enough, we do have two evacs now. We only have one this here as a graphical bug. This is the actual evac. All right. Time 
on a protocol. This time I'm also more confident. Meaning we're going to strip his last be a bit of armor away. That'll make a big difference because even if he dodges, we're now in a position where we can deal at least four Sometimes five points of damage, that's not too bad. Come on, a nice little hit would be what we are looking for. <sighs> Luckily he's at sub 10% uh, sub chance of hitting us. Unfortunately though, Still means we can get hit. That is not good. Affirmative, covering now. Go to cover. Surely there's a more difficult task available. Okay. What a bummer of a mission. I was hoping for a smooth sailing mission, and what are we getting? A banger of a fight against an alien ruler. Okay, that's going to trigger Overwatch. Nothing I can do about it. Shit. And we're down to like what? Two, four, six, eight. That's unfortunately level range. Alright, need a new spot person. Got it. Sensors at maximum sensitivity. On overwatch. Let's do this. We're reloading. Oh yeah. Moving to overwatch. And that's about it. Still staying out of range. On 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 watch. We're running out of um, soldiers that theoretically could go in and play the point person. Snake Eye is here. Takes the protocol. Moves in. And there's the alien ruler's reaction. He's not really that far uh, in front, he's standing behind the tree. It's just a visual bu uh, bug. Alright, come on. We're unlucky now. if we can actually kill him. Fire over here. I mean, we gotta take the shots. This here is just as good as a sniping shot. That's 10 points of damage, that's good. Pretty damn good. Alright. And... That's the first evac. 
which further reduces the number of operatives that we can use in order to scout. I'm compelled to agree. It's becoming a very deadly so game now. Anything that passes by. Okay. The next operative is going to be our specialist himself, because everyone else who is not a sniper is currently already in leather range. Meaning, if they're getting hit once more, it's game over. ourselves a protocol. <sighs> it's not going to be easy. Moving. Moving in. I mean, the one thing that I could do, taking a minus 28 for a squad side, I could go a tiny bit closer. <clears throat> the biggest problem is his 25 defense, which essentially means he's very, very, very hard to hit. Fine. For whatever reason, no. Oh, yeah, because it was not yet the end of the round. Gotcha. Overwatch, Overwatch, and end of turn. So, one more uh, turn from the tower. <clears throat> which luckily has a really poor aim. Unfortunately, takes Overwatch ever, uh, ever so often. Can we take care of the tower? up. We are going to take another shot of the tower, or we're hunkering down. Let's hunker down. Ruler takes one shot, misses, okay, and that's it. That's all he gets. Luckily with a hunker down, Gonna be fine. If I would have moved, the Overwatch would have likely ki uh, hit me. Uh, that's fine. We're still okay, I guess. At least we're not yet in level range. Problem is, if we're April calling ourselves. That'll trigger a ruler's reaction. But I, I need the, def uh, the defense. Yeah. Is that all you got? OK. 
Okay, since we moved a bit closer, we're now having a better, much better chance to actually hit with the sniper. Unfortunately, we're still missing these shots, which is a bummer. Ignoring the tower for now, fully got to focus on that ruler. Take that shot as well. There's a, there would have been a chance for a repeater kill. Slim one though. They're all over me. I'll keep an eye on it for you. Scanning. We almost got him to 66% health, which means there is a chance that we might even get through that with the skin of our teeth. Gotta hunker down, even if that triggers. We need the, de uh, the defense. Best potential shot is uh, this here. And we're missing again. This is frustrating. Very frustrating. <sighs> so many shots. Our Jesus is not with us today. Gotta keep strong. It is what it is. That was close. Never would have guessed that I would use a specialist in full cover as the point person for scouting and to tank for the team. But I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Executed. <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, so so satisfying and also so deserved. can continue more normally now, but at no point we should be careless. Alright, we can still stay there. Tower is most likely going to miss. Very nice. Okay, cool. That was an intense fight. Let's make sure that we get rid of the tower. That's right. Perfect. Which means we can now continue to slowly but surely advance. Unlike the rest of you, this unit doesn't get Moving out. 
See, positioning ourselves on high cover. Uh, high ground. Taking the opportunity to reload. And that is it. All we need to do is place the C4. Get the hell out of here. Get one more mimic beacon, which means we're going to use this sniper here as a go, go, go. more frontline person. Also got lightning hands, so I'm fine. This unit is relatively agile. Good. Roger that. Let's move up. Got it covered. Going into a little bit of a better spot. On my way. Overwatch. So I can attack anything that passes by. Very nice. Let's take our spark. Take a slight look. What's up there? There's the sector pod I was assuming we would run into at some point. So we got the mimic beacon. The sector pod. Let's move already. Let's start shredding it. Nice. Four points of shredding. That's incredibly good. screen rounds. Unfortunately we're unfortunately we missed that. Okay we can only move up and throw the mimic beacon. We're not close enough. I sh probably should have positioned myself a bit closer. Now ah, that was a mistake. We could Position ourselves here. Anyways, um, let's see if we were to place this position of spark right here. That'll still give us a very decent position. This here is an explosive tank. Hmm. Fortunately, we don't have any explosives. So remote start with this here, by the way, takes away the entirety of that complex. We gotta. We need to be out of uh, the direct proximity of the sector pod when it uh, when it's exploding. We shouldn't block the stairs, which we're not doing. One thing that we could do, by the way, is we could close the door. 
meaning all of uh, the admin would have an incredibly hard time to catch up. Yeah, but instead, let's try to kill the sectopod. Closed door wouldn't solve for the sectopod dilemma. On my way. It's kind of an open ish position, but we got lightning hands. And maybe that'll be enough to kill the sectopod. Ah, unfortunately missed. Alright. Time for a Mimic Beacon. Will barely be enough to keep the Sectopod at bay. stood one of the shots, meaning we're getting a free other shot out of here. Okay. Technically they should aim for the Mimic Beacon. Double move from the um, Purifier. And this is completely atypical. I don't know why they're ignoring the Beacon. The Beacon still has hit points. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. Um, probably because they didn't see it beforehand. If the sector port explodes, we're in a tragic situation here. So let's move away first. Starting with this trooper, it's good, very solid. Five percent seventy-nine. Let's kill the sector pot. Alright, that's good. Now let's deal with the remaining enemies. Taking high ground. This year should be a hit. Very nice. Good enough to trigger. All ends death from above, which gives her an extra shot. Fortunately, not killing the purifier, but that's okay. I'm not totally worried about the purifier. That'll be an easy candidate to kill. Very good. I think that's 
last remaining enemy. Moving far enough away to not be affected by its explosion. We get some bonus loot. Ah, advanced stock is okay. Charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Okay, that mission Copy that. was surprisingly more difficult Copy that. than I or originally anticipated. Roger that. I'm going. Evac confirmed. And one of the main reasons why that had been the case. Be we yeah, we're not going to fight uh, the reinforcements. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. It's a good day to just leave the scene of crime. Anyway, so it was more difficult because we were fighting against an alien ruler, and I totally did not read that. But luckily, with some solid tactics, we still made it out without losing anyone. I don't want to contribute to the meat grinder uh, part of this campaign. Alright, here we go again. Let's see if we get some fat promotions. Now we first of all got some fat uh, time in the... Up in the uh, recovery bay. Okay, so I like Bulwark. Uh, I also like Adaptive Aim. Adaptive Aim is the more aggressive choice. We're going with Bulwark uh, for various reasons. A, we currently need all of the defense that we can get. B, um, I want to hint uh, the owner uh, of, uh, safe game uh, that he can actually work with without losing even more soldiers. So we're going for field medic. We got our first lieutenant. That's good. So just looking at overall the mission. Yeah, I think it was fine. Command. We haven't lost Having anyone, one of and we got the genetically modified test Archon King Corpse. To begin conducting an autopsy as soon as possible. It is my hope that by following her own research notes, I will gain an even greater understanding of just how she managed to accomplish these rapid changes. Your team did a commendable job in destroying the aliens' facility, Commander. Their efforts towards the Avatar project will undoubtedly be set back by your incursion. I am still hard at work on the current research priority, Commander. All right, we're back to only half of our project's so progress. It's not too bad. With the most extreme among your kind. There is hypocrisy in questioning the Elder's vision. Let's get some loot. Such savage beings. Because we need funds at the moment. And soon the next facility should uh, should be available. There we go. There is a facility lead. Improved sniper rifles. Uh, yes, please. Just one damage. As soon as we have something of note. So. Theoretically, this facility is now... Uh, oh no, the Indonesia facility is now available. That's good. Let's, by the way, take a look. So there is no alien ruler here. There is an alien ruler here. 
and there is no alien ruler here. So apparently he has managed to kill one of them, um, but not all three. Good. Um, we're continuing with the supply drops. Now it is time to finally catch a bit of a breath. Elders never had any issues targeting civilians, and their chosen are no different. The resistance is counting on us to protect their Good. people. As soon as can't let them down. the negative, uh, as I can remove the negative trait, fear of archons that we just acquired, that would be awesome. In terms of training center, let's take a look. So we got Vault here, absolutely fantastic madman. Love it. Gotta get some more AP. Iconic Storm is super good. Yeah, that's probably also needed in order to make him work. Arcwave is definitely good. I like the exchange and invert as well, but he's, he was probably running out of, um, out of uh, points. Um, we got another death from above, are you kidding me? And a rapid fire, holy shit. Dude, I'm getting you incredibly powerful soldiers back. So there's the second death from above, which is great. Um, blast padding isn't bad, to be honest. It's just an absolute free... Um, uh, free bonus and ever vigilant is also not too bad we gotta be a bit mindful with um, how many uh, points we're spending that one here is probably even better um, having multiple overwatch shots um, on a sniper with long watch is very very strong so we're going to take that right away she also had enough um, points Make up for it. Serial. Plus death from above. <laughs> Holy shit. The soldiers are going to be strong. We need more defense, so I think I'm going to spend the last points into blast padding to give him one more defense. Uh, could have used Haywire Protocol as well, which probably would have been an option. But for now, I want to spread the points just a tiny bit to make sure that we have multiple viable soldiers. Grenade a ammunition, alien alloys, we got uh, sufficient. Uh, we, we do actually not have sufficient alien alloys. Might as well take those first. Because we can still upgrade the spark armor one more time. Uh, speaking about which, is the spark getting repaired? Yeah, we're a bit short on engineers. One more engineer would be awesome. Yeah, so in terms of being wounded, the spark is currently getting repaired, but it takes 11 more days for it to be fully available again. Not the end of the world, but still. Alright, we got improved sniper rifles. Uh, now it's time for the Archon King Autopsy. I have always been Hmm. Well, apparently there are a couple of uh, breakthroughs that he hasn't he had researched. And from an engineering standpoint, I think Dad would have been proud of what we're doing here. For the first time, we I think can now build the Icarus suit, right? And they know it. 
Now we just have to make all those people in the colonies remember what we're doing. Well, we do for. already have the Icarus suit. My father didn't die so we could become a race of we need to upgrade it. For the aliens to toy with. Played long war, mostly. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. No, I think... I think we already got it in the upgraded version. Let's double check that. Let's say our specialist was to take the Icarus suit. Wait a second. Hey, Commander. We certainly Our researched it, right? As expected, Commander. No, we did not. There we go. That was the problem. I can see why Let's continue with the Archon autopsy. Efforts, My bad. We'll get to work on the new project. Right I got too excited about the breakthrough. There's an engineer. Um, seems to be an easy mission with the side trip. Uh, the question is, do we have enough soldiers available? The extra engineer would come in handy. And we would have a Templar, Specialist, Sharpshooter, and a Grenadier. Could they uh, take Theodore Laurent uh, from PsyOps training as well? And I think we can also field um, lightly wounded soldiers, so I wouldn't be surprised if we could field Snake Eyes. So sure, why not? Uh, it seems to be a comparably easy mission. Oh, I forgot. We even got three different missions. God, it has been a while since I played the, the normal XCOM and not the Long War uh, version. So, we got an engineer countering a hidden event that uh, we don't know. Chosen some more likely to appear in combat. I don't mind. Not really. And a scientist, which we certainly do not need. Plus, I don't want to play a protect the device. Sabotage transmitter sounds like the exact right mission that we would want to go for. Setting it also has a, a super easy uh, side trap on top of it. And we would be entering with... And Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the Skulljack to good use. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. We would be entering with... Yeah, with this team. Well, it's better than nothing. I'll equip them and we'll get ready for the next, uh, for the next mission. But that happens in the next episode, guys. As always, uh, this has been... Uh, episode number four of the saving your disaster campaign meat grinder if you enjoy what you've seen leave a comment and a like down below and uh, i hope to see you in the next video thanks and see you soon bye bye